Hey friends, welcome to Crafternoon. Today we're going to be reading the story Leap by John Arno Lawson. And we're choosing this book this month because we have leap year this year. February has an extra day. The 29th is leap day. And so we thought we'd do some leap activities. So this is a fun book about um, a flea that takes a little leap and progresses through a series of animals um, until it circles back around. So it's kind of a fun story. Again, I can't read it word for word, but um, I can give you a general idea and then you can come check out the book at the library. So this is Leap. And it starts off with a flea that is asleep in the deep green moss. And after he wakes up, he decides to stretch his legs and take a little leap. And he leaps into the path of a grasshopper. And that leap scares the grasshopper, causing her to jump. And she lands with a leap right on top of a rabbit's head. Right in the middle of the rabbit where the flowers are growing. Well, that causes the rabbit to take a leap. And rabbit scares a... I wonder what that is. Any ideas? That's right, a dog. It scares a dog who crashes into the water, scares the fish, and the fish start to leap. There they are swimming around, and fish are jumping out of the water and splashing, which then causes the frog to take a leap. There he is, stretching out. And there he is leaping. His leap after he lands on the log scares the horse. And the horse leaps, very surprised. And when the horse lands, he scares that dog again. And the dog leaps with the horse and they're so happy, happy barking and neighing. And they stretch and leap together in the grass. And then finally the dog stops because she's a little bit tired and look who we have friends, it's our flea. Our flea is back, lands on the dog. Together they lay down and they both go to sleep. So that is our story leap. We're going to be making a craft today um, of a frog. And just like we do every month, if you want to post your completed craft onto our original Facebook post by midnight Sunday, March 3rd. You will be entered into a chance to win this book and a cute little stuffed frog. So this is our little craft today. And it's a fun little craft with a frog that when you blow through this, his little tongue is going to unroll and roll back in. So let's go ahead and grab those craft kits and we'll get started. Okay, friends, so the first step is we're going to make our frog's mouth. And so to do that, you can fold your paper over in half and you could go either direction. I think I'm gonna do mine just a little bit wider. So I'm gonna fold that in half and I'm going to cut out um, a half circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, to look like this is putting my frog's mouth. And then I'm going to put a little notch, a little V in the top, maybe a little bit bigger than that, so I can fit my little red blower through because we're going to put a little party favor blower in there to make it look like his red tongue popping out. So this is going to be our frog's mouth. The next thing we're going to do is we need to make, um, legs or eyes. And so we've got two sheets of green paper. So between all of your green paper, you'll be able to come up with enough pieces to make what you need to make here. So I'm going to take a scrap from this circle and I'm going to cut out two circles uh, for his eyes. And the frogs have those big bulging eyes that we will end up sticking on the top up here. And then um, we're going to take our other piece of green paper and we're going to cut out some legs. And so frogs have the two front legs and then the two big legs. So I'm going to take that green paper and I'm going to kind of cut it so I have a little bit bigger piece for my back legs and a smaller piece for my front legs. 
And kind of like we did before, I think it's easier for me to fold it in half and kind of cut my frog legs. And you can draw them out first if you want to, or you can just cut. So whatever works best for you. So here I have two, um, what will be our front legs. Same thing, I'm gonna cut out two of our hopping back legs and you can make those any shape you want to. And I'm gonna kind of make this one kind of angle and bend and put some webbed feet on it and make these kind of wide hopping legs to go on either side. So this will be my frog's wide hopping legs here to give him some jumping power. We need to make um, the insides of our eyes. So with your white paper, you're gonna make another circle to be the middle part of your eye. So those will lay in there. And then you're gonna take some of your black to do the same thing. Make those pupils to go in the middle. And so leap day is kind of fun. We're doing leap day crafts. We have um, some a leap day movie this week as well on leap day because it doesn't happen very often. Um, so there we have that. I'm going to put like a couple little nostril holes on there. So with the black, I'm going to cut out two little pieces or you can draw those on with a black marker. So here I have two little spots to put on. So the next part is I'm going to glue everything all together. So you'll need to either sticky tape or your glue stick. And we just need to start kind of building this craft back up here together and sticking all the pieces on. So we're going to glue those eyes together and then we'll glue those legs on. Thinking about leap day, I saw something on the news that there was a lady that was turning 100 on leap day, but because leap day is only every four years, in a way, she was only having her 25th actual birthday, so that was kind of fun. When you're born on leap day, you get to pick whether you celebrate your birthday on February 28th or if you want to celebrate it on March 1st. And a lot of the people that I know chose February 28th as the day to celebrate their birthday. So that would be kind of fun getting to decide when you want to celebrate your birthday. So here we've about got everything pieced together. Getting so close. And then I'll show you how to put that blower in there. Frog's eyes kind of stick over the top a little bit. And so this is kind of our frog. Now, something else you can do that I didn't do on the other one, if you want to add some like little rosy chicks on your frog, you can add some cheeks if you want to or whatever you would like to do to make it the way you want it to be. So you have a blower. These are those party horns that you blow into and it rolls and unrolls. You're going to stick that through that little hole that you made in your frog and push it up in there like this. And then you're going to tape this down so it stays in there. So I'm gonna get a couple big pieces of tape and kind of tape over the top of that blower so it tucks right in there. And you don't really want to put it too much over, you know, you don't want to cover this part that unrolls, but the stem of it. So then when you close this up and you blow on it through here, it will unroll and it'll be like a frog getting a fly. If you want to, you can take a piece, a bit of your black paper, and you can make a little fly. So when you unroll it, you could glue or tape your fly on there and then oh, he'll roll back up so you can see him zapping a fly. So that is our craft today, friends. And don't forget that if you'd like a chance to win the book and a stuffed frog, you can put that on our Facebook page before Sunday night. Thanks so much for crafting with us.